our fertilizer prices right now, it's priced like corn should be seven or eight dollars and we are three dollars. So by no means do I think any farmer is, well, let's just throw 10 more pounds of nitrogen on as an insurance policy because we can't afford it. We have moved to, we'll put nitrogen on way less. As Keegan said, we're way more efficient. We've driven our, our nitrogen per bushel down to 0.7 and per bushel, per seven pounds of nitrogen per bushel, which used to be 1.1, 1.2 because- 20 years ago. Yeah, we were putting less on because we're splitting those applications up from right in time for when that plant needs it. Now, are all farmers doing that? No, we have a long ways to go. It's getting hard to, to drive by in the winter or the fall and not see a cover crop field every few miles. And I think that's a great point. Uh, farmers do want to do the right thing. We see that. Uh, we're not blaming farmers, but it's a, it's a matter of scale. We just need more and more of these practices mm -hmm. in the ground. And whether that's funding, something that we've heard in the field is that it's, it's maybe not even the coordinators and the farmers that we've talked to. It's not even necessarily the funding that is the barrier. It is some of the red tape. Mm -hmm. uh, to get the practices in the ground, the permitting and the amount of time that it takes. And let's deal with that. What, how can we work together to solve that for the farmers and the producers? 